Protests have broken out across Turkey recently over proposed legislation to round up millions of street dogs. Under the law, the dogs would be killed after 30 days if their owners don't turn up or new owners aren't found. Protester Zulal Kalkandelen explains for her it's a matter of acting humanely and taking history into account. They're planning to round them up in the shelters, which we call death camps. For some time, there's been a campaign to fuel stray animal hatred. Our people, who've been living with street dogs for many years, in fact for centuries, are now being brought to the point where all these animals will be erased. The proposed legislation evokes memories of a dark chapter in the city's past, when, in 1910, street dogs were rounded up and left on a nearby island to starve. But Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan dismisses opponents' concerns, claiming stray animals have become a menace to society, causing traffic accidents and spreading disease. The truth is that a very large part of society wants this issue to be resolved as soon as possible and our streets to become safe for everyone, especially our children. It is unthinkable for us to remain indifferent to this demand, this call, even this cry. However, activists say there are more humane ways to address people's concern over the number of street dogs. Lawyer Elchen Cemre Senjan is one of the protest organizers. There are people who are disturbed by these stray animals, but the solution to this is not to put the dogs to sleep, killing them. Scientific studies have shown that the sterilization of animals, especially dogs, reduces their numbers and attacks on people. Erdogan's AK party recently suffered a big defeat in local elections. Opponents say Erdogan could be working to consolidate his religious base by calculating opponents to his street dog legislation will come mainly from the secular opposition. We know our problems in the country. world know our, knows our problems, but they want to change the uh, main topics to these animals. They don't talk, they cannot say anything. We are here to be their voice. A recent opinion poll suggests that less than 3% of Turks support the killing of street dogs, indicating opposition crosses political and religious lines. Analysts warn the street dog legislation going before parliament in the coming weeks could be a risky move for Erdogan. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.